Hey sports fan, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a special NBA breakdown. I'm going to be covering Carmelo Anthony's lose-lose situation. Now, Carmelo Anthony waited for LeBron James to make his the big decision to go back to Cleveland. And surprisingly, it doesn't surprise me LeBron went back, but now, Carmelo Anthony, the light is on you. It's, it's nobody else. Nobody else can help you with this. Now, you have to decide, what are you going to do? Are you going to Chicago, which a lot of people have speculated. These are the only two teams he has left on his list. Chicago or New York. Chicago, you can have the better chance of winning the NBA title. Some say, I say no. You go to New York. If you're smart, you take that $129, $130 million, whatever it is on the table, and you get your money. You make the New York Knicks build around you. You look at uh, what's in place there, and, and if you leave New York, if you can't get the sign and trade that you want um, from New York to Chicago, you have to be smart about this thing. Because as a general outside look, the New York Knicks are the Chicago Bulls except the Chicago Bulls play a little better defense. Melo was the only scoring option really last season in New York when Jared Smith was struggling, Shumpert was struggling, Ray, Raymond Felton out shooting guns, uh, threatening people with guns, Amari Stoudemire being a bum, Tyson Chandler being hurt all the time. You only really had Melo. So now when you look at that, that scares me. Derrick Rose. Where is Derrick Rose? When will he return? Will Jesus Christ come back before Derrick Rose comes back? That's possible at this point. You look at Joe Kim Noah being one of the only stable forces that they have because Joe Kim Noah is such a warrior. He plays game in and game out, even with these injuries. I'm talking uh, foot injuries that should keep people out for months at a time. And he's still out there battling. But Derrick Rose is not a superstar. I look at Derrick Rose as being a superstar, superstar for about two seasons. That's it. When you're injury prone and you get the having all these big time injuries, you're no longer a relevant uh, part of the NBA map at that point in time until you can prove yourself again. If he goes to Chicago and they have a huge letdown, he's going to be in the same situation as he was in New York where he'd have to carry a basketball team all by himself. Even though Joe Kim Noah is a great leader, a great defensive player, he's not really an offensive threat. He does clean up the board well. He does have that small 14-foot uh, jump shot, that awful bad release jump shot. But what I will say is this. You can't expect Melo to spend himself on both sides of the floor if he goes to Chicago and have to carry this uh, basketball team offensively solely by himself. That's why I say go to New York. They're going to blow the holy hell out of this roster come next season. You'll have a chance to get Kevin Love if he's not already traded to the Cavs by next season. you have a chance to get LaMarcus Aldridge. You'll have a chance to get some very good key players that right now are locked up on um, teams with bad contracts, but within a year, we'll be able to help do the uh, help recruit things to New York. And you look at just the small scale. Yes, you may not be able to win an NBA title this year. If you go to Chicago, there's not a better chance you win an NBA championship there. You do have a better head coach in Tom Tibble. Thibodeau than you do in Derek Fisher, but you also have to look at it, the triangle offense. The triangle offense has not been uh, not successful, any, to my knowledge. I've seen it win in Chicago. I've seen it win in Chicago again, and then I saw it win in L.A. So on, on separate occasions. So you have to look at them possibly being able to get Paul Gasol in New York. If you make a couple of sign-and-trade plays, if you make a couple of moves, things like that, you can put pieces in New York. It's not hard to sell New York. You have fashion. You have food you, you have the new york jungle that it is and on the bright lights in madison square garden at the biggest stage the biggest mecca in basketball you look at carmelo anthony he belongs there if he's not going to play with lebron then don't go anywhere else get your money my brother at the end of the day you're at an age where you're not going to be able to make too many more of these 100 million dollar contracts you need to get your money now you're not a, as a big marketing uh, ploy as LeBron is off the court so you have to realize if you're not going to be able to win a championship this year get the full max amount of money that you can get under the salary cap right now and Melo at this point he's in a bad situation because if he doesn't take a pay cut he'll look he'll be looked at as selfish but if he does he'll it's like almost he's going to lose either way it goes and the Bulls are not an attractive team to play for only because if Derrick Rose was playing and you can guarantee he'd be healthy, then yeah, I'd say go to Chicago. But if since he can't, it's not really relative for him to go. And then you got all this money sitting on the cap for two players in Derrick Rose and with Carmelo Anthony. What can you sign besides those two? Derrick Rose is already making $100. 
uh, I mean, a hundred million dollars, and you look at what Carmelo could possibly do, they won't have money to resign anybody or bring free agents there. And you would be able to, and and with Derrick Rose not being able, one, able to really recruit players there and acting like he's high and mighty, and it's not his job to recruit players, well. Dumbass, you making a hundred million dollars. You're the star marquee player that is getting paid but not playing any basketball games. You're getting paid basically to rehab, so you might well as do something while you're not on the court. So for me, I just think Melo needs to stay in New York. He really has an opportunity to to build his legacy in New York. Trust in Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson has a good track record as a head coach. Now you have to let him uh, show you that he can get the job done as the 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 president and the um, basketball operations director. You got to give him a chance. You've seen he's already moved Tyson Chandler, which was a good move because Tyson Chandler was just dead money on the books. A great defensive player, but a non-offensive player at all. So you have to look at your best interest at this point because LeBron did his best interest for himself. Now it's your turn. Carmelo, please, please, please stay in New York. Do what's best for you, but at this point, it's staying in New York. Um, I want to know what you guys feel. Do you feel like Melo will ever win an NBA championship if he goes to the Bulls or if he stays with the Knicks? Or do you feel like he just is, needs to go join LeBron in some way, shape, or form? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, do you feel like this is a lose-lose situation for Carmelo just like I feel it is? Check me out at JustMyPicks.com each and every day for all the breaking news, all the updates and sports. Also, follow me on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button right now. YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV so you can get updates for all the breaking news that we do on videos and things like that. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Follow me there at JustMyPicksTV and share my videos in your sports group so we can debate with you and all of your people each and every day. Thank you very much and enjoy your day.